Hello and welcome back to another daily run. Looks like Eden, I think. Yep, Eden, starting with Guppy's paw and Blue Baby's only friend. An interesting start. One Guppy item means the obvious thing we want to do on this run is try to get the other two Guppy items. A Guppy run would do as well. I quite like Blue Baby's only friend very early on, because it does a lot of damage, especially compared to us. It does have sort of the... It has a drawback whereby you are going to try to use it uh, to the detriment of yourself. You know, it, you're not going to think in terms of, oh, I should use my tears for this, I should use Blue Baby's Only Friend for that. You're just going to use Blue Baby's Only Friend for everything, which is, oh, let's do this and this. Okay, I definitely want to keep this. Why? <laughs> Dubious. Uh, no, you can't pop those. Okay. Um, mostly, if I do really badly for some reason, I've got three HP worth of survivability in one red heart container. Also, D12 is not that good, so it's not really too valuable to keep it, I suppose. So we'll see if we can find some more bombs to try and deal with the tinted rocks that we have on this floor. But we'll keep this key. Maybe we should uh, open that golden chest now. We're only probably going to need one key on the next floor. The Emperor. This may help. Where are we going? We're going to Satan. That's fine. Uh, doable. Passable. Can we cope with this? Try and avoid Monstro while we pile up Blue Baby's only friend on top of him. You can see the damage that Blue Baby's only friend does compared to our tears. It's just outstanding. So... We'll take this, and we'll take this, and we'll go. It's going to be a while before our tier damage even closes, closely matches Blue Baby's only friend damage. I assume that's seeded. Um, I know that in Afterbirth there was a pack, uh, sorry, in Rebirth there was a patch, so the Eden runs were seeded. So I'm guessing everyone's starting with the same items here. Uh, careful. Oh. We want to get into that as well if we can. I'll shoot the fires. Um, it's probably worthwhile. It doesn't take us too long, and we will take Tooth Shot. We only have three cents to re-roll it with anyway, so... I don't feel like... <clears throat> I don't feel like re-rolling it was... that big a deal. Um, I'm starting to use my tears as well. Mobile enemies, where you have to... You know, try and pilot Blue Baby's only friend with its slow movement speed over the top of them. Probably easier just to use your tears for that. And they are exclusive, of course, because Blue Baby's only friend is piloted with your tear keys. Whoa, careful. Help, run away. That's something we should probably not use Blue Baby's only friend to do, but we did. And it worked out, so we'll just shock it up to dumb luck and move on. Uh, this is fine as well. And this is fine too. Thank you, game. We should explore. We're not going slowly. like to maybe pick up a few more consumables, have a key for the next floor, that sort of thing. Uh, lust, not really what I was after, but fine too. We'll take this. It's negative points again, but oh, okay. I guess we'll go. Thanks for all the fish. Floor. There's tinted drops we can't get. We could go into, oh, we did get our key, so, you know, it was worthwhile. Along. We're going reasonably quickly. Um, I don't expect to slow down anytime soon, except for when we get this exact room, which takes forever because you have to wait for each of these individual things to show its head. Oh! I don't feel that dodging these is a particularly tall order, except for that one situation where you've got short end of the stick. You're stuck between. Ooh, careful. You're stuck between the, the wall and the and the thing and you've got a tiny little manoeuvrability spot. Weezy board. Ah, I took it. <laughs> you know, I didn't really think about it. I don't think it's detrimental to us, so I'm going to take it. Um, at some point, we're going to be 
glad that we made ourselves as strong as we have. It seems like one of those runs where the the only way it's really likely to go wrong is if you re-roll it. Uh, and I probably would re-roll it if given the opportunity, because it's not stupendous. Uh, let's use Blue Baby's only friend for this. Good, good. Um, it's not stupendous, but it's not terrible. So we can we can go a long way with it, possibly even win with it, since we only have to do Satan after all. But a re-roll could be, you know, brilliant. And if we're going to go in with the attitude that we would re-roll it if asked to, then we should definitely take as many items as we can, even if we don't immediately see ourselves using them. You know, straight away, because there'll be things that get re-rolled when we re-roll. Oh no. Help. Ah! Bad. I thought I was doing it right with a little... Uh, we could do this. If we don't like it, we can just leave. <laughs> Leaving. The Forsaken, I don't like this either, but... We can use Blue Baby's Only Friend to great effect here, because the Forsaken doesn't move very much. It puts itself in the middle of the screen. There's this thing, which you have to be fast enough to avoid. If it doesn't try to avoid... Our, well, we've done our item. We'll take this. The HP will be valuable for the next deal with the devil. Yeah, we're going really fast according to the clock, so we should probably think about trying to explore on this floor. Oh, that was really, really bad. See how good a shot that was from those, though? Perfect. Perfect uh, aim, considering that they fire randomly. Careful. We should definitely explore this floor. We want to get consumables, really. Oh, no bombs. Uh, it may facilitate a shop. It may help us get our way out of boss rush, which we do want to do. Uh, we can actually do the hush this time, so I won't be making that mistake. Um, although, whether we want to do the hush versus boss rush is uh, a difficult proposition at this stage. Ooh, I don't like this either, really. Um, we'll play it four times. Nothing. Oh well. Oh, Gimpy though. Paying for our entry. I paid for a lot of entries with a, a Gimp mask. Oh, this is not right. <laughs> Probably should have used Blue Baby's only friend to deal with this, but I wanted to get in line with them so they couldn't hit me. But I didn't seem to be capable of doing that. This is another room where tears are probably better. Why am I keeping hold of the Wheel of Fortune card? Mostly, I believe that the rules of the dark room, which we're not going to actually. Hmm. So, no real reason. Uh, please, at ease, you know, move on. Nothing to see here. Please, die. Thank you. Oh, I didn't realise that was one of those. But it gave us some stuff, so I'm okay with that. Uh, that is not even remotely worthwhile. And remember, if we start to get a little bit scared of our HP, we could just use the guppy's paw. Because we've got plenty of... Perfect. Red hearts. I would rather not... I would rather see what the devil has to offer, and therefore decide whether I want to use Guppy's Paw first or second. Uh, okay, right here. Oh, brilliant, it's a green fight. I was hoping that the shop could actually, you know, bolster us in some respect, with a decent item or two. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need to be stronger if we want to fight Satan, because we have to make it through the, uh, the old dark room there which is full of things that I don't really want to have to deal with. The Blue Baby's only friend is our principal damage dealer. In fact, we'll use our tears here as well, because highly mobile enemies, difficult to chase down. Ooh, careful. Careful there, bat chat. I've been noticing a clapping sound, and I thought it was the music until I just realised that it's in fact the sound that tooth shots make when they crack. Tooth shots, ladies and gentlemen. Tough nut to crack. I'll be here all week. So, we should leave. Uh, it's the stain, so I'm going to give myself the Spirit Heart protection and spend a red HP. This is a bad place for you to be the stain because Blue Baby's only friend is not actually on top. Ah, yes, perfect. Stay there, stay there. Oh, I dodged back into it, which was not great. 
to uh, coax these things out, which doesn't fill me with joy. Good. Yeah, the Spirit Heart Protection definitely helped in that situation because it got us this Devil Deal, which has two Guppy items in it, which is going to be extremely dangerous because we can only pick one of them up without dying. In which case, we should take Guppy's head because it will be actually useful and hope, beyond hope, we'll go. That another Guppy item turns up that we can actually make use of. Traditionally, Wheel of Fortune, you will keep until the chest or dark room, blow it up on said chest or dark room. I don't like this room. Uh, and get an item out of it. No. We can't, because we're not going there. But I'm just keeping hold of it anyway. If we're going to blow it up prematurely, we should do it when we're already about to use a bomb, rather than use a bomb specially for it. I will use tears here, because these things won't stand the hell still. The Blue Baby's only friend can deal with the rest. So, Hush or Boss Rush? A good question. Question for the ages. Should probably use uh, Guppy's head more often, whenever it's available, which is all the time. But Guppy's head on that room is actually kind of a negative, because they just explode themselves against the, the indifferent face of the floaty night things. Hopefully, we can get some strength out of a devil deal. Ah! Um, because we don't seem to be doing too well on our item rooms. That said, we don't seem to be doing too well on our oh, devil deals either. I really need to learn how to deal with that room. High Priestess may help. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, this is a difficult proposition. I will take the red candle. I think it's going to do more damage over time. It's going to be better for us, basically, uh, than, than Guppy's head, even though Guppy's head is a pretty powerful item in its own right. For example, if we set a candle and let things land on us, they will land on the flame. It's a tool I'm reasonably confident with. But if <laughs> I hate these leapers, the ones that fire four shots when they land, it's just awful. We've explored a lot of this floor. Did we find the item room? I don't think we did now. I couldn't think about it. Uh, I don't like this. Where's Blue Baby's only friend at? I've taken a lot of damage on this room because I'm not doing as much damage myself as I would necessarily like to do. Oh, and that was just terrible, so we're not playing too well. Let's just be straight there. Spun? Uh, I wonder what that does. I'm guessing that's what happens when you get... Uh, we didn't want anything in there. Three syringes, maybe? It's one of the new transformations, which is, of which there are many more. Uh, in Rebirth, there was Guppy and Lord of the Flies, and that was it. Three guppy items gave you the guppy transformation, three fly items gave you the Lord of the Flies transformation, and now we have to contend with every transformation under the sun. So, where is our item room, please? It's probably over here where this terrible damage is going to come from. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to be careful on the way back through that room. I found pills, that's really, really useful, thank you. Saving me and my limited need. Away. Maybe we can find a. S <laughs> it's not a, a re rolly type run, I'm afraid, so it's not like we can do anything. That was just really, really terrible. 7,009th. I'm just gonna go. Thanks for watching. I hope you did better. <laughs>